HWA upload right here on HWAonline.com. Oh, here we go. And Ryan Campbell with you. And we have got a grudge match here this week on upload as Shake Barzini going at it with relentless Ron Mathis. Well, Shake came out to a huge ovation tonight, Brandon. I think, I think, I think all these people are just rallying behind him with all their hate for Ron Mathis. Ron Mathis, easily one of the most hated men in the HWA, and it was right here in this very building that Ron Mathis ended the career of that attitude. Brian Beach, his former mentor, his former tag team partner, and Mathis believes that uh, Norwood is basically uh, his lucky place to work, and, and we'll find out here tonight if he can defeat Shane Barzini well, I mean, and keep, I mean, that, keep that luck going. Even if you're not aware of these guys' past and the, and the matches they've had, you can tell early going here that these two just do not like each other. I don't think there's been a technical wrestling move yet. It's just been an all-out brawl. This is a grudge match. This is a fight. And we are bringing it to you here on HWA Upload. And look at Shank Barzini with a big headbutt to Mathis. Sends him into the corner. There is another one. And the crowd certainly behind Barzini, as you said. Oh, Barzini oh my. Over the ropes to the hardwood. I have expected him to land on the apron. He just went all the way over. He went all the way over nasty. the hardwood floor here at the Donald E. Proust Center. Standing room only crowd here for this matchup. As there you see Gilbert, who, uh, oh, how does he keep getting in here? And Gilbert, the pet monster, if you will, of one Ron Mathis. But uh, I don't know. Uh, Ron Mathis doesn't really treat him too well, but Gilbert seems to stay around. Kind of a modified camel clutch here. He's got his fingers clawed in the face. Clubbing forearm there by well, Mathis to Shane Mathis Barzini. getting the face of referee Joe Copez. That could be a disqualification if he doesn't watch his temper. corner. Brandon, you think if Mathis loses tonight, he'll do another pulse? I, I know you like to uh, get on him about the uh, times that Shink Marzini's got a number up on him. Well, I'll tell you what, he is going to be unbearable if he can win this match. Not that he isn't already unbearable. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, man. I certainly enjoy my time working alongside you, Mr. Campbell, a lot more than I do working with Ron Mathis on the pulse. Well, I, would, I would sure hope so. Knee lift there by Mathis. Shank desperately needs to get some offense going here. Mathis just wearing him down. Oh my! Power Pick. slam. Only a count of two, says referee Joe Copes. Think, uh, Mathis there, if you just would have covered him right after that huge power slam, instead he decided to shriek or something. I don't know. Oh! When all this fails, just throw your body at him. And just using his body as a battering ram, but there, a big elbow by Ron Mathis. Shank coming back here off the ropes. Oh, oh my, missed with the knee. Oh man, he spun Shank around. Hooks it. Is this no? Ooh, big chop once again by Mathis. Now using. His foot to choke out Shank Barzini in the corner, utilizing that five count. Back to the choke again on the bottom rope. He's making every bit of use out of that four count. And hey, look, at, there is Gilbert now on the outside, pleasing his master, Ron Mathis. Well, if Mathis treats him like that when he pleases him, I don't want to see how he treats him if you don't please him. Oh, big suplex right in the middle of the ring. Mathis again wasting some time here. 
Mathis up to the middle rope. Mathis, oh, got caught. Look out, oh my gosh. Good night, Ron Mathis, come on, Shane. That's gotta be it. Oh, wait, 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 Gilbert up Get on the ring apron. The apron. Oh, isn't there a caseworker or something that should be watching him? That's a good question, oh, look out. Oh, nice drop toe hold there by Ron Mathis and Gilbert did what he needed to do. He saved Ron Mathis, basically, because if Shake would have went for the cover, I gotta believe this one would have been over. Well, I mean, Ma he turned Mathis inside out. And... Now Shank on the middle rope. Here he comes. Oh, Joe Copez almost got caught there in the crossfire. Back suplex there by Shank. Shank's starting to hear those voices. Oh, man. I think they told him it's time to win. Shank Barzini certainly an unlikely fan favorite, but between the voices in this crowd and the voices in his head, I'm surprised he can tell what's what. Here he goes, head full of steam, but Mathis. Mathis nowhere to be found. There he is on the apron. Shank knows it now. Math is jumping back in. Going for the Falcon Arrow. Oh, Shank had that well scouted. Oh, oh, man. Once again, using the ropes. I think every bit of Shank's weight came right over the top rope. Hey, look at this, look at this. Mathis locking in his submission. Oh, but Shank. Wisely backed him into the corner by Mathis. Wisely going right back to work over. Shake Barzini gonna try to put him to sleep here. Oh! I think Mathis held on yeah, though. Held on. A smart thinking on Shake's part, but Mathis just held on. Mathis gotta watch his shoulders in this situation. Joe Copez right there, now he's got him turned. Shake feeling the pressure, trying desperately to reach to the ropes, but you can only be in a hole like this for so long before your body just gives out. Well, this is one of those holes that doesn't really allow for much movement. I mean, he can't really get anything to move towards the ropes. Some moves you can kind of drag yourself, but with Mathis putting all his weight on the other side of him, Shank just can't get any momentum to move cl closer to the ropes. This crowd trying to will Shank out of it, but if that, if that hand drops three times, this one's over. Call for the bell. That's, well, that's it. it. Ron Mathis victorious by submission here this week on HWA Upload.